theorem on a linear transformation if v1 bar v2 bar v3 vn bar is a basis for v basis for v and w1 bar w2 bar w1 bar w2 bar wn bar are arbitrary vectors in w okay then not necessarily distinct then there exists a unique linear transformation t from v to w such that t of vi equal to wi so here given given this part is given part this up to this okay this many given part that is v1 bar v2 bar vn bar are basis for v and w1 bar w2 bar w2 bar are arbitrary vectors in w not necessarily this uh, not necessarily what uh, unique then there exist up to this sorry up to this it is linear uh, it is given part okay up to this it is given and before that we want to prove this then we want to show that what is our claim here that is we want to pro prove here there exist a linear transformation linear transformation mission t from v to w such that such that t of v1 is equal to w1 that is t of vi equal to w i means what t of v2 is equal to w2 and t of uh, vn is equal to vn bar is equal to wn bar so that is that is uh, that is t of vi bar is equal to wi bar for i is equal to 1 to dot, dot, dot n so first of all so what is given part here given v1 bar i want to prove this so what is given given v1 bar v2 bar dot 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 vn bar basis for v this implies this set say this is set s yes. then s yes is what then set s yes span v that is ls is equal to ls is equal to v why because basis is what basis main this is equal to uh, linear span that is ls plus independent independent vector it is called basis so ls is equal to v and therefore for any vector any vector v bar belongs to v there exist a scalars there exist scalars k1 k2 dot 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 kn such that such that v bar is equal to k1 v1 bar k2 v2 bar plus dot 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 kn vn bar why because it is span the uh, set s yes, span v so therefore any vector v bar belongs to v can be written in the linear combination of v1 bar v2 bar and vn bar now define now we are going to define here define a linear transformation define a linear transformation define t from mapping t from v to w as t of v bar is equal to k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus dot 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 kn wn bar so now we have defined here one trans uh, uh, transformation mapping t from v to w and we are going to show that it is a linear transformation so the uh, step first here step first it is close under say it is close under vector uh, instead of step first say here first we are going to show that it is close under vector addition so let let u bar is equal to say u bar is equal to u bar is equal to u bar belongs to v such that u bar is equal to say k1 uh, k1 uh, k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar say k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 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 b
plus k n v n bar and and say v bar is equal to alpha 1 v 1 bar plus alpha 2 v 2 bar plus alpha n v n bar okay or uh, so what is u bar plus v bar here u bar plus v bar is equal to alpha 1 plus k 1 v 1 bar plus alpha 2 plus k 2 v 2 bar or k 2 plus alpha 2 and alpha n plus k n v n bar k n v n bar so if you apply here t we get t of u bar plus v bar is equal to so if you apply t then it is what the mapping is defined is what k1 w1 bar k2 if v1 bar is equal to if v bar is this if v bar is this then it's if we apply t then we get k1 w1 bar k2 so if you apply here t then we get alpha 1 plus k1 alpha 1 plus k1 w1 bar plus alpha 2 plus k2 w2 bar plus dot 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 alpha n plus k n w n bar so if you simplify this we get this is nothing but the k1 w1 bar plus this is nothing but the k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus k n w n bar plus alpha 1 uh, w1 bar plus alpha 2 w2 bar plus alpha n w n bar but what is this this is nothing but the t of u bar plus t of v bar so t of u bar plus v bar is same as t of u bar plus t of v bar why this is t of u bar you can see if u bar is this then t of u bar is what k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus k n w1 bar if v bar is this then t of v bar is what k alpha 1 w1 bar plus alpha 2 w2 bar plus alpha n w n bar and that's why t of u bar plus v bar is what t of uh, t u bar plus t v bar now let for again let u bar is equal to say k1 u1 bar k1 v1 bar uh, plus k2 v2 bar plus k n v n bar v n bar and let alpha belongs to r be any scalar then alpha u bar is equal to alpha u bar is equal to alpha k1 into v1 bar plus alpha k2 into v2 bar plus alpha kn kn into vn bar so now if we apply t on both side then t of alpha u bar is equal to what is if we apply t then this v1 bar is converted to w1 bar v2 bar is converted to w2 bar and vn bar uh, al uh, sorry this is what alpha kn vn bar is what wn bar but we can write this as alpha times k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus kn wn bar say uh, kn wn bar since we take alpha outside so this is nothing but the alpha times t of u bar why this is if u bar is this then t of u bar is what this what is if if v bar is this okay say this is v bar then what is t of v bar it is k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus k n w n bar so if u is this then at t of u bar is what k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus k n w bar and therefore t of alpha u bar is equal to t of alpha u bar is equal to alpha times t of u bar and therefore here we here we have through that t of u bar plus v bar is equal to t of u bar plus t of v bar so t is linear transformation so therefore t is linear transformation now in the next step we are going to show that t uh, this uh, under this transformation we are going to show that v1 maps to w1 v2 maps to w2 vn maps to w1 as we know that since we can write vi bar that is v1 bar or vi bar is equal to 0 v1 bar plus 0 v2 bar plus vi bar 1 times vi bar 
plus 0 times Vn bar ok so for example I am writing here you can for example if people want to write here V3 then we write V3 bar is equal to 0 V1 bar plus 0 V2 bar plus V3 bar 1 times V3 bar plus 0 Vn bar ok so so for similarly for i equal to here i is what i is equal to 3 so for v1 we can write this way v2 vn so if we apply t of vi bar then t of vi bar is equal to what is t of vi bar what is map if v1 v bar is this then t of v bar is what k1 w1 plus k2 w2 plus kn wn so t of, t of vi bar is what this is equal to 0 w1 bar plus 0 w2 bar plus wi bar plus 0 wn bar so this implies what t of vi bar is equal to wi bar for v1 for for i is equal to 1 2 dot dot n here also you can check here also in this here if we apply t of v3 bar then this is equal to 0 times w1 bar plus 0 times w2 bar plus w3 bar plus 0 times wn bar so t of v3 bar maps to w3 bar and this is what we want to show that so in particular t of vi bar maps to wi bar now next we are going to prove here uniqueness so for uniqueness uniqueness suppose t of v i bar is equal to w i bar and t dash of v i bar is equal to t dash of v i bar is equal to w i bar with two uh, with two linear transformation suppose where where t and t dash linear two linear transformation linear transformation from v to w vector space v to w so now as we know that since t of v bar is equal to uh, k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus kn wn bar so but what is w1 bar this is what t of v bar v bar we define here map t of v bar is what k1 w1 bar plus k2 w2 bar plus kn wn bar so what is the value of t of v bar k1 w1 bar but what is w1 bar it is t dash of v1 is w1 so we can write here k1 times t dash of v1 bar what is w2 bar it is here by using this uh, here we assume there is one more linear transformation so w2 bar is what t dash v2 bar plus kn t dash wn bar so this is nothing but since t is a linear transformation we can write this as k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar k2 v2 bar plus kn vn bar but what is this k1 this is nothing but the t dash of v bar because v bar is what k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar plus kn vn bar is nothing but the v bar the t of v bar you can check here what is v bar v bar is equal to k1 v1 bar plus k2 v2 bar plus kn vn bar so this is nothing but the v bar so t of v bar is equal to t dash of v bar so what this implies t is equal to t dash okay and therefore there exists a linear transformation t from v to w which map t of v1 to w1 t, t of v2 to w2 and so on why this is possible because v1 bar v2 bar vn bar basis for v this is very important why because t1 v1 bar such a linear transformation exists only if it is a v1 bar v2 bar vn bar basis for v